Oh, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. We're just leaving Scott's Bluff. Wasn't that a cool place? Loved it. Okay, making a right here. That was uh, Highway 71, Route 71, whatever. We're heading to Wyoming. We are so close. I mean, that's Scott's Bluff. You're right on the Wyoming-Nebraska state line. We just have a few miles here. Gonna go up, cut through Wyoming. We're just gonna cut the corner. And then uh, I gotta do some distance today. There's no getting around it. We're gonna drop down into Colorado. We'll end up in a town called po Pueblo, Colorado. There's so much to see here in Nebraska. There'll be other trips for sure. I'll put Wyoming, Utah, Nebraska. Do It'd be good to have a, maybe next summer another trip, do some of the central states and whatnot. So I know there's a lot to offer in all of them. Look at the fields. This is just wide open. No trees, no nothing here. Okay, we got to be getting close to the state line. Okay, let me slow down here. Check it out. Hang on. Hang on to your seats. There you go. Leaving Nebraska. Hello, Wyoming. Yay. <laughs> I like doing that. See what happens when you're in a van for over 100 days by yourself. <laughs> All right, welcome to Wyoming, everyone. And right here on the state line is the town of LaGrange, Wyoming. We'll check out LaGrange. We're just cutting over it uh, not very far. Then we're going to start heading straight south again. Oh, the road's red. Different color asphalt or gravel. Huh. That's cool. Well, this is LaGrange. Not a very big town. There's some, looks like apartments there on the right. This is extremely small town, USA, here. Sure, it's a good little community, probably ag based agriculture. Looks like churches, houses. And it looks like about it. Wasn't there a famous uh, ZZ Top song called LaGrange? <laughs> I think that was uh, Texas. You know, okay, enough of that. All right, right up the road here. We're going to be heading straight south. All right, this is going to be State Route 85. We've been on it several times. Remember up in the Dakotas? That was all 85 we traveled on. Hey, there's a little, uh, some um, mountains there, just like uh, Scott's Bluff. All right, back on 85, we're gonna make a left. We're gonna head straight down, pick up uh, Interstate 25 near Cheyenne, Wyoming. south this is uh, 85 we're just cutting a corner of Wyoming here from Nebraska cutting over to Colorado today's goal is like I said get down to Pueblo we're gonna meet a youtuber down there too stay tuned all right not too much farther gonna be up here to the uh, probably a city of Cheyenne Wyoming 
It's way nestled down in the corner of the state, right next to Colorado. Here, I'll clean the window for you, get the bugs off. <laughs> Getting close. Yep. 85 and there's Interstate 25. We're going to be on 25 for uh, a couple hundred miles. This is going to be an interstate day. That'll get me down. But once we get down in Colorado, when I start heading west, it'll be all state roads. I kind of looked at the Google Maps last night and uh, made a preliminary plan from Pueblo we're gonna head straight west right into the Rockies too should be a pretty pretty drive okay we're gonna keep on trucking here and this is we'll be cutting right through the part of Cheyenne Wyoming we're not far at all, just a few miles from the Colorado state line. Check it out. What does that make from Nebraska, Wyoming, Colorado? A three state drive. <laughs> nice. All right, we're going to cross over Interstate 80. Yuck. I've driven that highway a few times. Clear across the United States. I don't know how many times. Three or four. What a heavily traveled road. Especially the truckers. Both 80 and 70. As a matter of fact, we'll, I think we'll cross 70. When we get down near Denver. There it is. I'll, I'll take you coast to coast heavily traveled road but we ain't taking it today we're heading straight south okay shouldn't be too much farther we are going to be in Colorado yay all right we're almost there look at all the billboard signs they put near the state lines that cool kind of like your last chance casino or whatever <laughs> all right I'm looking for the sign where is it where is it hang on there it is welcome to Colorado yay made it pretty good now we're in Colorado. We're going to head straight south. We'll pass through, what is it, Fort Collins, and then the, into Denver, and then down to Pueblo. It's, I think a little less than 200 miles, and then we're there. Don't forget, stay tuned to the end. We're going to meet up with a YouTuber. off to the right you can see the Rocky Mountains but right here it is flat as a pancake look at this <laughs> so but tomorrow we'll get into the Rockies we're gonna be heading west should be pretty okay this is Fort Collins area I'm not stopping. Yep, sign said we're about 40 miles from Denver. We're almost there. I should beat the traffic. Hopefully, I don't hit too much traffic going through that big town. Denver's a huge city. Big, big town. Well, more lanes are added and see the traffic starting to pick up a little bit we are getting into the big town all right well should be interesting I think this will cut us right through downtown 
should see their skyline. We'll find out here shortly. Well, there it is. I don't know how well the... Yeah, you can see the skyline way up in the distance there. We're going to be passing right through there. We got an express lane here. Looks like four lanes of traffic. Oh yeah, toll charges. Really, I've done pretty good on the trip. I've had to take very few interstates. State highways are nice. State highways are slower too. 270, no, nope, we want to stay on 25. Sorry, looking and driving. <laughs> What's he say? 70. Yeah, we're going to cross over Interstate 70. We're not taking it. We're going to stay on 25. South. Okay, I better pay attention here a little bit. Get closer to downtown, I'll be back. That's Denver, major, major city. The mile high, we're like at what elevation of 5,200, something like that. I remember watching all the football games on uh, TV, the mile high stadium. Hey, maybe we'll see the stadium. Well, traffic's a little touch and go. I'll film what I can here, but I need to pay attention. Pueblo, gonna meet up with a YouTuber. He's heading north. I'm heading south. Actually, west. <laughs> Tomorrow, cut through the Rockies. Should be pretty. Yeah, this is definitely old memories of driving through big cities. No thanks. All right, let's keep on trucking. Hey, check it out. There's uh, the football stadium right there. Was it Denver Broncos? I'm not much of a sports person. Yeah, Denver. There it is. I'll be darned. Okay, looks like we're getting out of Denver. Away we go. We're heading down to Pueblo. Should be there just a little bit. out of that big town we'll cut through Colorado Springs and straight down to Pueblo got a few clouds up ahead look at that temperatures really up there too it's I bet it's close to 90 here We made it. Welcome to Pueblo, Colorado. I'm glad that's over. I just had to make up some time. 
I figured this would be the quickest way, but tomorrow we're back on s state routes, and if you didn't see that sign, you're going to see it here again. You guessed it. We're going to start off on Highway 50 tomorrow, and we're going to take that up through some part of the Rockies. Okay, let me uh, figure out where I'm at. We're going to go meet that YouTuber. Alright, this will be an undisclosed location. Not. <laughs> be a restaurant parking lot. <laughs> We're going to meet James from Wonderlust. He's traveling in his van. He's heading north. Matter of fact, he's heading up to the, the Dakotas. So, stay tuned. Here's James. Like, right now. Good officer, James. What's doing, going buddy? on, buddy? I'm doing good, man. All right, this is James. Wonderlust been, Estates. Been forever since I've seen this guy. I haven't seen him since 2017 over there at Quartzsite. I didn't know they let him out of there. Yeah. We met up here. We're in Pueblo, Colorado. I'm heading south, and he's heading north. So tell him <laughs> what you're going to do, James. So I... Uh, I got to earn a little bit of money in Denver and then I plan to go up and see Glacier. I keep missing it over and over again so it's something I need to go and do this August and then I plan to head back out towards the coastline. So um, if I if everything works out I'll, I'll go ahead and go down the coastline and document that. It's been the first time since I've done it in a while so I'm going to do it backwards to this guy. <laughs> also. We want James in Quartzsite this winter. So what you have to do is subscribe to his channel and say, James, you got to come to Quartzsite. So tell him how to get a hold of you. All right, guys. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do, because it rocks. Go to Wanderlust Estate. So that's Wanderlust, Wanderlust, and then uh, Estate, like real estate. All right, James. Well, it's been an honor, man. Thank it's been you. awesome, man. Uh, safe journey the rest of the way on the way down and, and I hope to see you this winter. Oh, you you will. Yep. Because all these people are going <laughs> to say, yeah, come on down. Come awesome. Alright guys, thank you.